One of the indicators within our swing toolkit is the swing metrics uh, indicator. Now, in order to activate this uh, indicator, I can click on this this uh, icon right here. It's a little bar graph here. Now, what that is that does and that shows it shows you various metrics of each swing, and this is very customizable. You can change uh, what it outputs on these highs and lows of these swings. Uh, but what it's doing in, in this, at least uh, by default, it is showing you for this upswing right here, it was 18 bars, and the price change from this low to this high was six and a quarter points. And then it moved down three bars, which lost two, two and a half points, and, and so on and so on. Now, if I go back into the into the parameters here, I can adjust what 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 uh, what 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 metrics, what information it outputs outputs here. You can see the bar count and the price change. So now this particular example is an intraday chart, so it it won't show the calendar days. I'll I'll, try, I'll go back and and highlight those. Uh, the amount of time that went by. Now this is a very fast moving chart. This is a one minute chart, so the number of bars that, that travel here should equal the number of minutes. So 18 bars, 18 minutes. Uh, in this case, three bars, three minutes, and so on, so on. If this were a uh, different, if this was a, a tick-based chart or a volume-based chart or something else, it, it can highlight the amount of time uh, in, in each, each swing there. The, this, this, in this particular example, this is a futures contract, so I can I can show the amount of ticks. So in this particular example, this is the NQ, which is six and a quarter points, which would be 25 ticks. Um, and it also knows the price value for each tick. Uh, and so in that case, it'd be you know six and a quarter or 25 ticks uh, times uh, what is five dollars a tick. So 25 times five is 125 dollars. And that's so again, it's it's how much you've gained in that particular swing as far as uh, a, a dollar va value goes. I want to uncheck some of these just to our, our little stack of information can get a little high. Uh, the amount of volume, so if you look at the volume of all of these bars here, it shows you how what is the total amount of volume that was that was used there. So you can you can kind of get a gauge of of you know is volume increasing, decreasing? Is it was there a whole lot of uh, you know volume uh, ex expended in in a certain particular move? You know, are these downward moves uh, getting lower and lower in volume, or higher and higher in volume? To kind of give you a a gauge of uh, of of maybe what price price might be doing. Uh, the price at the swing itself. Let me simplify this output here. So if you just want to know what is this high price, what is this low price, what is this high price, for example, what what time did this occur on each on each swing here? Now you can change the of course the appearance of the labels, the size of the labels, and if you have other indicators that are outputting uh, uh, various uh, icons and whatnot, and you want this to be offset further away from price, you can you can adjust this adjust this here and it'll just move everything slightly further away. Now all the examples that I've I've shown so far are from low to high or from high to low as far as the actual metrics go. Now there's also a section here for high to high and low to low and that that's what this is here. Let me expand this here to make this make this appear. So as you can as you can see H to H or L to L. So this is the amount of bars. Let me disable this here. The amount of bars from this high point to this high point was 14 bars. From this high to this high was 22 bars, etc. That, again, that was that's a non intraday, and this is an intraday example. Again, the amount of time, amount of points changed from from this high to this high, so you can you can see if if you have a double top, for example, you might have a high to high that are equal. Um, amount of ticks changed. This is all pretty pretty straightforward as far as the statistics that it's actually um, actually showing. 
uh, excuse me, metrics. Uh, futures, as you can see, what you've actually gained if you were in from this this point and it made this new high, you 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 gained you know 55, which would be uh, the equivalent of of 11 ticks, as you can see. Now you can change the label color just as as before, and if you want to uh, prefix them with this low to low or high to high, or if you can you want to simplify the output, you can delete this and just know that you know if it's if it's gray it is low to low if it's blue then it's it's you know, low to high or high to low uh, now you may have noticed in this top left here there's this little summary of information here and now this what this does is it's looking at uh, as, as you can see the average amount of bars for a um, high to low move or the average amount of bars for a low to high move and as you can see they're pretty similar so a lot of the, a lot of these moves are on average for the amount of data that's on this particular chart uh, are very very similar now from high to high when you look at the moves where it did not make a new high so so if it's a a high to a high but yet it is less than 100% in this case uh, it did not make a new high. The average was 62%. Uh, again, that's the average of the entire chart, and it's that's very interesting that um, that's right around the 61.8%, uh, the golden ratio right there. Uh, then the high to high was 180% as far as the average amount of um, of uh, extension from from high to high, and then. Uh, continued with the low to low same similar very interesting to see that the uh, the swings that that failed to make a new low reversed a right around the golden ratio those that continued to make a lower low um, pretty much d uh, on average doubled the previous low uh, it's interesting just to, just to see these metrics to see what the market's doing in order to hopefully give you a little more insight into your decision making process. Um, now if you have any more questions about this ind indicator or any of our other indicators please contact me at daniel at updown.com that's uppdnn.com. Uh, best success in your trading.